Speaker, that Canada's oil and gas is vital to the security and sovereignty of both Canada and Europe. It's clearer than ever that when the Liberals stop, delay and hamstring Canadian oil and gas from being extracted, transported and sold both at home and abroad, the biggest winner in every way, shape and form is Putin. The world needs more Canada as Putin attacks Russia, but Justin Trudeau just won't give it to them. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. The war between Vladimir Putin's Russia and his invasion of Ukraine, it's not over oil. They're not fighting over oil and gas, but oil and gas are central to this battle because it's a product that fills Putin's coffers and allows him to launch these attacks while also threatening Germany and Italy and countries like that with cutting off their supply if they get in his way. Well, Canada could get in Vladimir Putin's way if Justin Trudeau and his liberal government would get out of the way. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the ability for this country to be part of the solution short term and long term to replacing Putin's oil and gas. You may have heard that Canada has announced that we're cutting off crude oil imports. Bad part is that we haven't imported crude oil from Russia since 2019, but we are still importing refined product. And that's not going to stop anytime soon, even though it should. But we do have oil and gas reserves in this country that could be developed. And Conservative leader Candace Bergen says that is part of the solution. Canada is the world's fifth largest natural gas producer. But we can't export gas to our European allies because we can't get pipelines built. The Liberal government has failed repeatedly to recognize that Canadian oil and gas is the most, most ethical, most environmentally responsible oil and gas industry in the world. So what do Trudeau and the Liberals have to say about that idea? Not very much. Over the past number of weeks, we've been working closely with our allies in Europe who indeed are, are dependent to a large degree on imports of energy from Russia and are right now uh, in a difficult position. Uh, that is why we are so touched by the steadfastness and the strength of the European response in uh, putting severe sanctions on Russia, even though uh, there is uncertainty in terms of their energy security. And I have assured them uh, that Canada and countries around the world will be there to support them as they move forward. Canada is a, a producer and exporter of energy. Uh, we have banned, as of today, any imports, which were already negligible, uh, from Russia of uh, crude oil. Uh, but we will continue to work with the world to make sure that we can stand strongly against Russia and support people in democracies everywhere. Uh, let me show you something quickly here. We have a lot of uh, natural gas pipeline projects and natural gas export projects on the books for the Canadian government to make a decision on. Some of them have been abandoned because things take so long and the regulatory hurdles are far too high, but others are just sitting and waiting while others, in fact, have actually been denied. Check out this notice from February 7th. Stephen Guibault, the Environment Minister under Justin Trudeau, cancelling the Energy Saguenay Pipeline Project. Why? Because they felt it wasn't good for the environment, even though the Quebec government had done its own assessment and found otherwise. But the federal denial means the project won't go ahead. This would have taken a ton of Western Canadian natural gas through an existing pipeline system, they would extend the pipeline system across Quebec and then export it through a port in the Saguenay region of Quebec out to Europe and other parts of the world. This would have been a threat to Vladimir Putin, but it's being shut down. And the opposition to it, you can bet that they got some Russian money put into that over the years, just like the Coastal Gas Link Pipeline Project. And the people opposed to that have been funded by American, Russian, and Saudi interests, whether they know it or not, for the last several years to oppose Canadian oil and gas. We are part of the solution, especially in the long term, to taking the air out of Putin's tires, to replacing his product, which he uses the, the profits from for evil means, we can replace it with ethical product that helps the world rather than hurts it. It's time for Trudeau to win as liberals to get out of the way and let the world have more Canada. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you share this on social media and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.